Hey guys, what's up? It's Wireves here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do this. All of this. Alright, now I did this, uh, hold on, I'm going to turn you around. Alright, sorry. Um, I did that pretty quick. I mean, it was, it was pretty awesome. I mean, I like it. It looks kind of like it's on a stage. Uh, it's got a light shining down on it. You got some shadow uh, <laughs> underneath it. Uh, I got a nice little flare right here, which is actually my only flare because I accidentally deleted all of them. So if you got other flares, by all means, use those. Uh, you can import some 3D text if you want uh, from Cinema 4D. Uh, but right now we're just going to mainly work on the Photoshop area of it. Uh, just for if you only have Photoshop, then this is perfect for you um wow about slap slapped you guys upside the face my mic it's always in the way all right let's go ahead and close my bad i'll move my phone so much stuff to do uh close that i already done saved it file no all right i'm gonna do my 19 by 20 or 1920 by 1080 for a background resolution or background uh, settings. So, I mean, I'm on a laptop and it says like 1333 by 720 or some crap, but uh, yeah, mine's gonna stay that way. All right, first let's add a background, which mine's gonna be just plain black. So, just go to your paint bucket. Uh, and if you can't see the f paint bucket, you can press G, or you can go to this. Sometimes it'll have the gradient tool, which is kind of like a a little box, and it's got like a black on the left, and it goes to white. You know, like regular gradient. I had the hardest time finding it whenever I, I just figured or started messing around with. So, ugh, Photoshop. There we go. I'm having a hard time speaking, guys. Um. Alright, so now we got a black little background. Let's go ahead and ha add the lights. Um, now go for the lights. We're going to use a just a paintbrush. Whenever we get our paintbrush, uh, mine's set all weird, but 450 is perfect. Just set your size up to 450, hardness down to zero. And yeah, just make sure it's uh, the hardness is on zero. All right. Now with that, oh, whoops! It might help if we uh, put white as our color. All right. Now, as you can see, that is that's a pretty nice little light. Now, if you want, you can either make this, make your uh, brush bigger, or you can do what I did and just go kind of on both sides and just add in a little bit for like a brighter light. Um, but yeah. Alright, now that we got our top light, we want to make a new layer. So go to layer, and go to new, or you can press shift, control, N. Alright, now this one, we don't need to add a background or anything, but we're just going to add one dot right underneath the top light. So now we have like two little white blotches there. Alright. We're going to fix it, don't worry. On your second layer, or your bottom your bottom light, press Control T. And as you can see, it uh, selected the bottom light. Now you want to hold Control and bring out these bottom... Whoa. Yeah, bring out the bottom corners of your light while holding Control. Because it's like, as you can see, it's like spreading it out. Like spreading out the bottom because it's like an actual light is shining down and then from there we're gonna keep holding control and we're gonna drag the very top down maybe just make it look like a um, odd looking trapezoid if you know what that means or if you know what that is <coughs> excuse me all right now as you can see if you did all that it should look something like this it's got this top light and now that we did all that to the bottom light it looks like there's a floor there 
All right. So now that we got all that, let's go ahead and put in some text. Press T on your keyboard. And I'm just going to do it anywhere. Uh, wire is a little bit too long. Uh, press. There we go. A little bit shorter. And go ahead and resize it to whatever you want. And I'm sorry, my computer is lagging. Uh, I... I don't know. I'm thinking about clearing everything off of it or something. Just gotta upgrade. It's all I know. I'm actually gonna be upgrading sometime. Uh, well, hopefully before 2013, but only two months away. So either way, it'll all work out. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So now we got our name up there. Blah blah blah. Let's go ahead and add some blending options. Bum, 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 bum. There we go. Alright. Of course, we want to add some bevel and emboss. That way, it just looks good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and change the depth to about one. Yeah, about 125. It's good enough. Uh, size about 13. Uh, no softness, but I am going to change the gloss contour to ring, which is the second one to the right on the bottom thing. Uh, you're watching my screen, you can see it. Alright, uh, I'm going to turn on anti-aliasing. I don't really care, but whatever. Alright, now that we got all that, um... Yeah, I mean, you can add a, a color overlay if you want. Me, I used like a darker blue. Kind of about right there. Yeah. Like this is like a really dark blue. I like that. Especially in something like this. Um, Alright, so now that we got all that, now we just need to add the shadow and we'll be all good. Like I said, this really isn't all that hard at all, but it's still really awesome to do, and it looks pretty sweet, in my opinion, so. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to want to go to our text layer. We're going to duplicate the layer by right-clicking on it and going to duplicate layer. Rocket science. Alright. <clears throat> now, on this one, uh... On this one, we're going to take off basically all the stuff we just did that... Whoa. Anyways. Yeah, we're just basically going to take all that off. The color overlay... Oh, wait. Never mind. Sorry. My bad. We're going to keep the over color overlay on. But we're going to change it to black. My bad. Um, and if you want, you can change the opacity to make it look like the... Shadow is a little bit, you know, different and all that stuff. Uh, Alright. Control T on your copy of the text. And what you want to gonna do is hold control. Oh crap. I am the biggest goof ever, guys. I'm sorry. Make sure that your original text layer is above it. That was all my fault. Uh, again. But, anyways, we'll just keep going. Alright. Now, as you can see... Alright. Now, as you can see, the blue, or whatever color you use, your original text layer is going to be over your uh, shadow layer, I guess you could call it. <coughs> and that's good because if you didn't, I'll show you really quick, it would look like that. So, of course, we would need that layer above that, and that's how that layer got to be like that and you can always I mean you can always mess with this guys if you want to if you want to make it 
really small or you want to flip it down like that uh, and you go right ahead I mean I thought it looked better like that since the light looks like it's from behind so I mean obviously it would look you would want the shadow in front of it uh, that's just my opinion of course Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is pretty awesome, in my opinion. I mean, considering that you didn't have to use Sony Vegas for the shadowing or the ground, like the plane or anything like that. You, This is 100% uh, Photoshop CS6. Um, yeah, but anyways, guys, if you thought this was pretty cool, uh, my bad. Let me just add this really quick before I say goodbye. Um, the the flare, uh, you can always add the flare if you want. I already put a tutorial out on that. Um, so if you don't know how to add a flare or how to find them, then go ahead and click the link below. I'll put it down in the description to that video. That way you can go out and get all the solar flares you want or not solar flares but uh optical flares that you need for your pictures um yeah that's it sorry i messed up a couple times uh really didn't mean to but we got it done and it still looks pretty good so uh if you guys want go ahead and click the like button it really helps me out uh if you want to see more of this stuff obviously go ahead and subscribe uh, really makes them worth really makes these videos worth making uh, yeah later guys